tunayoweza yote kwa kupitia Mungu atakutia nguvu. Naamini kabisa Mungu atakuwa pamoja nami ninavyoongea na hasa pamoja na wewe uweze kupata kile ambacho mkiweka ndani ya moyo wangu. Uh, the word that I'm going to share with you today is a word that has been impactful in my life. Uh, the moment I learned about this, it has always been in my heart that I felt that I also needed to share it with somebody else. It's nothing new, but it spoke to my heart and I hope it will speak to you too. Amen. So when mchungaji alivoniambia kwamba boke zamu yako inafika nikaingia kwenye maombi kumomba Mungu ni kitu gani nenda kuambia watu wako it can drop in my spirit again you already have something to share with mm. people so I'm going to share that word that uh, I knew that I needed to share it but I did not know where and when so having said that I'm going to share with you about three inner needs mm. that every human being have. And these inner needs, whether we realize that we have them or we don't, mm. they are there. Okay? Amen. And every one of us, okay, whether we kuwa katika mafundisho ya Mungu au hujakuwa katika kujua Mungu haya mambo tunayo ndani na pia ndio nayo tusukuma pia jinsi tunavyo behave so, kuna mambo tunafanya kwa sababu ya hizi needs tulizo nazo ndani sasa ni kama gravity right whether you know how you understand the theory of gravity we, we know kwamba ukirusha kitu lazima kita shuka chini so whether unajua how ujui ipo kwa hiyo hata hivi vitu ambavyo naenda kushare na sisi ni whether tunajua yani tuna tuna hiyo understanding kwamba vipo ni whether tunajua au hatujui lakini ni vipo hallelujah kitu cha kwanza ni kwamba sisi wote kama binadamu we have a need inside us to know that we are loved unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Okay? And despite our flaws, you know, despite our our, you know, mapungufu yetu yote tulio nayo, bado kuna inner need inside us ambayo tunataka kujua kwamba we are loved unconditionally and people have or somebody has the best interest kwetu sisi that's one number two we want to know that uh, we have a life of purpose and meaning okay mm. now whether again we have that understanding or not it is there and because of this reason Again, there are things that we do which desire for this need. This, and then, it, depending on how you are fulfilling that need or you are feeling that need, mm -hmm. it uh, determines your outcome. Okay? The last need that I'm talking about here, we all f need to feel accepted and a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. So in short, the three needs that we have, the inner needs that are God-given inner needs, a sense of to know that we are loved mm -hmm. unconditionally and people have the best interest. Number two is significant. We want to know that we have a life of meaning and purpose. Number three, security. We want to know that we, we want to feel accepted and a sense of belonging. You know, even when we come to fellowship, Jesus is hope ministry. Mm. There is that sense that, you know, this is home. You want to f have that feeling. You yeah. know, I meet with the people from maybe the same place. We speak the same language. Not only that, but we, the love of Christ is within the people. So I belong there. Mm. Okay. But you could have gone to any other place. 
and you stay there for only a few days, you say, you know what? Something does not feel right. Mm -hmm. That sense, you don't feel like you're connecting with the people, you don't belong with them, so it impacts our choices. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, going back to love, okay, as I said, these are all God-given needs. And the book, somebody can help me to read from the book of John 15, 12, just one line there, to really nail down this topic about love, the need of love that God has given us. The book of John 15, 12. I'll read in the name of the Lord. Amen. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Amen. God knew that uh, when he created us, this need is with us. Okay, so he came and modeled that for us. Mm. And he yeah. asked us to love each other as he has loved us. And when your topic is significant, Psalms 57, 2. Zaburi hii, hamsina saba mbili. Mwandishi wa Zaburi alikuwa ana express view zake na katuambia kwa mba kama umepata na mwandi na soma. Psalm 57, 2. Yes. I cry out to God most high, to, to God who vindicates me. That one? Mm -hmm. That's fine. Another version in the same who fulfills yeah. his purpose. Mambo yangu. Yes. Kwa tunaye mungu, anaye timiza mambo katika maisha yetu. Na, na mungu alivyo weka his zote, hata ukindia kwenye mambo ya security. Mungu aliweka hizi kwa sababu bado ni yeye ni Mungu, okay? Alituumba sisi kwa sababu na alikuwa anataka kwamba tumtegemee yeye kwa ajili ya ku fulfill his needs zetu. Okay? Shida inakuja pale kwa sababu ya experience za dunia. Tumezaliwa kwenye familia wa baba, wa mama na wenyewe pia wana struggle zao katika maisha unakuta wazazi wana abuse watoto mm. unakuta walimu wana abuse watoto you find spiritual parents also abusing the people and somehow somewhere tunajifunza kujitegemea wenyewe mm. kwamba ile Mungu alikuwa anataka tu connect na yeye tunapoteza kwa sababu tunaona kwamba wale ambao Mungu amewa amewapa mamlaka juu yetu sisi wameshindwa kufanya hivyo. Lakini Mungu alijua, kwa hiyo sio haya yote sio accident, okay? Mm. Pamoja na ukujua haya, bado aliruhusu uo mfumo. Kwa kwa nini ameruhusu uo mfumo? Kwamba anajua tuna mapungufu, lakini anajua kwamba tuna haya mahitaji. Okay? Aliruhusu akijua kwamba hakuna mwanadamu anayeweza kukuambia wewe au kukufanya ukajua kwamba unapendwa beyond measure. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Hata kama utapata mtu ambaye amemjua Mungu, tunaweza tukatumika kama chombo ku demonstrate ile upendo wa Mungu, lakini upendo wa Mungu hasa mtu anayekupenda unconditional na makorokoro yetu yote ni Mungu pekee yake. Na hata katika hilo tunaona kwamba Ali, na sio tu kwa, ku, kwa ku, ukiona jinsi Mungu alivyo demonstrate upendo wake kwetu sisi. Yaani kutoka mahali ambapo ni pa juu penye comfort zote, kwenye luxury zote, akaja huku duniani kuzaliwa na asiye na chochote. Kuzaliwa sio tu hospitali, no. Kwenye kwenye zizi walipo wanyama Na hata baada ya kuzaliwa ni kwamba wale tunao wale wanaomsikia hao tumsikilizi mm -hmm. eh tunamtukana tunamtemea mate 
eh? na bado tunampiga mpaka tunamuua lakini yeye alikuja akasema baba uh, wasame mm. hawajui walitenda baba wasame jamani mm. yani nikilifikiria hilo mimi kama mwanadamu mm. sasa hivi ni acha <laughs> acha na Mungu sasa mimi yeah. eh? uh. Hata mwanangu relationship yako na mwanao akaja akakuchokonoa akakuchokonoa ifikafika kwa sababu tunajua kuna watu na wazazi wao hawana uhusiano mzuri mm-hmm. kwa sababu wamekosana mm-hmm. kwamba wazazi wameshindwa kufika kwamba baba wasame mm-hmm. hawajui walitenda lakini Yesu atupendaye ndio anaua upendo ambao ndio anatuambia kwamba na sisi tupendane kama alivyotupenda kwa bila kumjua Yesu hatuwezi mm-hmm. ku modo huo upendo anaotuambia mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. na kata katika sensi ya kwamba tukija kwamba tunapenda kujua kwamba tuna maisha ya purpose na mimi wakati mwingine duniani tunavyoishi tunapitia mambo magumu sana mm-hmm. yawezekana pia hata hapo ulipo kuna kitu kagumu unapitia Okay. Wiki hii Jumapili Taifa la Marekani wacheza basketball. Ndio sio tu Marekani naamini dunia nzima. Okay? Imepotelewa na mchezaji mashuhuri sana. Okay? Mimi simfahamu vile. Nimemfahamu Kobe kwa sababu ya mme wangu akiwa anaangalia basketball tu eh kidogo nikiwa naangalia <laughs> lakini alivyo kufa yeye na mtoto wake kichwani kwangu sitaki kufikiria mke wake yuko kwenye hali gani anavopitia haya mambo tunaongea kwamba kuna maisha ya meaning Okay. Kuna Mungu labda au hata kama una Mungu kwa sababu mitiani mingine Mungu wangu ni migumu mno. And you cannot pass that kwa kweli bila neema ya Mungu. Mm. Okay? Kwamba na Mungu anatuambia kwamba kama unasema all things work together for good. Mm. For our good. Kwamba hata katika hili as much as mimi nilie mtu wa mbali nalia machozi nisiye njua sijawahi hata siku moja kula na hata kushikana mkono sembuse mke wake na sio yeye ni familia zaidi ya 4 5 mm-hmm. watu wamepoteza watu wengi okay as we think through these tragedies okay yawezekana enemy aliamua kwenda kufanya mahali uharibifu lakini tunayemwamini Mungu na Mungu anasema kwamba atatumia nini chochote mm. all things will work out for good. Mm. So, akati tunasubiri all things work out for good kuna mtihani mkubwa sana. Mm. Okay? Nani. Na sense of security okay Mungu hata sasa hivi kwamba tunataka kujua kwamba tuko salama. Mm. Okay. China kuna ugonjwa umeanzika huko. Unasambaa duniani kwa faster. Nimesikia habari kwamba leo hii oh, Columbus umeingia. Kuna cases mbili wanazi investigate. I'm not sure if it's Columbus or it's Ohio lakini upo. Hawajazi confirm bad. Okay? Mashuleni sasa hivi kuna sijawahi mimi katika history ya kuwa Marekani kusikia shule zinafungwa ili wasafishe kwa sababu kuna magonjwa ya flu ya mingi. Kitu kingine ndani yetu ni rahisi kutaka kujitegemea sisi wenyewe. Kwamba mimi nitakuwa mkamilifu, nita kama ni magonjwa haya nitasafisha mikono, sitamshika mtu, sitaenda popote kwa sababu unasema ni kwenye gathering. Kwa kuna kale kahali kakutaka kuji, kuji kujilinda sisi wenyewe. Okay? kwa sababu tuna ile desire ya kutaka kuwa secure. Na wakati mwingine 
tunakwenda kufanya mambo ambayo kabisa hayampendezi Mungu mm. kwa ajili ya kujitegemea sisi wenyewe. Okay? Mungu anasema nikirudi kwenye upendo wake. Anasema kwamba I have loved you with an everlasting love. Mm. Ukisoma kitabu cha Jeremiah. Okay? Ukija kwenye upande wa purpose anasema for i i know the plans i have for you mm, mm, okay mm. to give you hope mm. in the future upati kwa binadamu yes powerful hata mm. ule upendo wakati mwingine unajua tu kiwa na na mume au na mke eh, ukikumbuka mlipotoka huko eh unaweka moyo wako wote kwa partner wako <laughs> wakati mwetu tunakia too much expectation kwamba tunataka ku feel ile desire kupendwa kutoka kwa partners wetu hata wao hawawezi kwa sababu na wenyewe wana desire pia kwa lazima tumwangalie anaweza kutoa yote okay kwenye security na kuja kutaka kumaliza hapa anasema kwamba i will never leave you nor forsake you so ni vitu vya kuendelea kukumbushana kwamba hakuna mwanadamu atakayeweza kutusaidia katika haya kwa hiyo tufanyeje mm-hmm. okay tufanyeje biblia inatuambia we should not conform any longer with the patterns of this world but we should be transformed by renewing of our minds mm-hmm. dunia imetufundisha kujitegemea dunia imetufundisha kutengeneza mazingira mimi nataka kupendwa. Nataka huyu awe rafiki yangu. Nimemuona kwa kumpima huyu anaelekea. Mm. Eh? Kwa hiyo tunakwenda tunafanya vitu, unaweza kumfanyia fanyia fever, ukampa visa wadi ili tu eh, wakati mwingine tunafanya mambo ambayo kweli kabisa ni kinyume na Mungu. Mm. Sasa kutujikumbuka kwamba hizi njia tulizojifunza za duniani wakati mwingine Biblia inasema kwamba kuna way ambayo ina seem right to a man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, but in the end it leads to death. Mm-hmm. Okay, kitabu cha Proverbs 14:12. That's what it says. Proverbs. We don't have to go to that. Proverbs. Sasa tukikumbuka hili Mungu atusaidie tukumbuke kwamba anayeweza kuziba ile need tuliona ndani tazibaje tusome neno lake okay kuna steps ambazo tunaweza tukatumia ukweli ni kwamba tunapofanya wenyewe tunajifunga eh? ni kwamba hatuko huru tena kwa sababu system ya dunia imetukamata okay lazima tukubali ku face the truth za negative habits zetu mm mm, mm, mm. to so, alafu to recognize his inner needs kwa sababu kuna mwingine anahitaji zaidi upendo mm. Mm. lakini papa sanajua ah, mimi nimeumbwa kwa sababu hiyo yuko sawa mm. <coughs> kwa sababu anahitaji upendo tunakwenda tunafanya vitu ambavyo sometimes ni nje ya okay mm. ukishajua ni kitu gani kile ambacho wewe kwako ni unakihitaji zaidi alafu to exchange na Mungu twende kwa Mungu tumuombe atusaidie kwamba tukubali kuacha kujifanyia wenyewe. Mm. Kwa sababu tokea tumeumbwa au tokea tumepata tumekuwa na akili na mimi tumejitahidi kujifanyia mengi. Mm. Sijui mtumefikisha wapi. Mm. <laughs> Sijui mimi najua kuna kipindi jamani nilikuwa najifanyia. <laughs> I want the things where I will know and I will know. I have tried and my husband will know. Kuna areas in my life I tried because I knew I could. Arrogance ya jambo. Kwamba na mimi najua hili naweza. Eh, kuna anayekuwezesha. Mm. Okay? To exchange to mwache Mungu atufanyie. Na pia <coughs> tunavyojiweka chini tukubali au tuone ile jinsi Mungu anavyo tu strength. 
kutua kwa hatua. Naomba nimalize kwa kushare hadithi ya kwenye Biblia ya kina Daniel. Mm. Okay? Me na tukasema kuhusu Shadrach, Meshach na Abednego. Mm. Na Daniel mwenyewe. Hawa vijana walicha Mungu wao sana. Okay. hata pale walipowekwa katika maisha kwamba waende kwa mfalme mfalme alichagua vya aina vya kula wale watu wale eh, ili wawe nourished vizuri wao walikataa wakasema sisi tunaomba tule nini majani na maji yes. mm. wakiamini kabisa kwamba ni mafundisho yao waliopewa hawakutaka kuharibu mwili wao kwamba alichosema Mungu kitakuwa wakaingia deal na wale magads kwamba in 10 days kama utatuona tumedhoofika basi tutafanya mnachofa lakini ukituona tuko sawa sisi tutaendelea kweli in 10 days pamoja na kwamba yale mavyakula yale manyama ma wine sijui na nini yalikuwepo wenzao walikula hiyo wao walikunywa maji na majani wao walikuwa wako vizuri zaidi mm-hmm. kiafya kuliko wale waliotumia vile vitu kabisa lakini nakuja hapa chapter 3. Okay? Pale ambapo walikuwa wametengeneza sanamu, they created this uh, yeah. foreign god from vitu vya kutengenezwa things that are made and they asked them to bow and worship those gods. They refused. They refused. They refused to the point that they told them even they they believed kwamba their god will save them mm-hmm. but they were also okay even if that their god won't save them mm-hmm. they are ready to die mm-hmm. lakini tulichojifunza au nilichojifunza mimi okay by the time watu wanaangalia tunajua story walikutwa wa nne na sio watatu inaniambia kwamba tayari Mungu alikuwa pamoja nao yes. okay Amen. lakini kilicho ni nipa excitement zaidi naomba twende hapo kwenye Daniel 3:27 Ni kwamba mwisho pale inasema pamoja na kwamba alikuwa kwenye tanuru la moto wakatoka walipotolewa nguo zao hazikungua lakini hawakuwa hawanuki hata moshi they did not even smell of fire on them okay mmm ukipapata hapo tutasoma zaidi mpaka mwisho sababu nasema jiulize ninanuka moshi am i smelling of smoke Mm-hmm. Ask your neighbor kwa sababu wakati mwingine ukiwa kwenye tanuru la moto ukiwa kwenye sehemu hata utukipika mavyakula yetu hatujijui right mm-hmm. kwamba tunanukia chakula kile mm-hmm. lakini anayeingia mm-hmm. anajua <laughs> you have been cooking yeah. right mm-hmm. ask your neighbor ninanuka kushi mm-hmm. it is my prayer hallelujah it is my prayer that all of us have that somebody okay who loves us or demonstrate the love of Christ what to say kwamba despite our weaknesses despite our flaws they love us that i know i can say anything even if it is crooked but i know they will be there for me. they got my back Okay the bible tells us iron sharpens iron okay so i naweza nikasema kitu ambacho kweli kiko off kabisa lakini nina amani kwamba wataweza kunisaidia pia kuni correct it is also my prayer that we become that somebody for somebody else okay but we are never going to get there if we don't connect back to god kwa hiyo tukienda kwenye maombi Mm. Tumuombe Mungu atusaidie. 
pale twe, kwenye tunapo long tunapo desire kwamba yeye ndio atu atu zibia ya mapengo amen amen, amen. 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 na pale tunapo nuka moshi tunapopata watu wanao tusaidia mm. na skill kwa sababu yote ni out of what amen amen, amen.